hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl tamara and today i just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what should be in your medicine cabinet especially if you have children it is very important to have certain things at home in your medicine cabinet and one of the thing i think for persons who have children they should have a designated medicine cabinet for particular type of medicines and certain vitamins whilst having another cabinet for more adult things now personally i do believe that there are certain things that you should not leave out of your medicine cabinet and one let's just start with the eucalyptus oil you guys so very often you find that your kids will have a cough, a, the sniffles, especially if they're smaller because mine is around three years old. So basically sometimes you have like a whole class of students who may have a stuffy nose or a runny nose. It's always good to have some sort of eucalyptus and my baby is asthmatic. So it's very important that we have certain things at home that helps with breathing you can drop this into a diffuser or what we call a here humidifier so that you can um you know diffuse this around and help with opening the airways and so on all right so this is something that you can have a in your medicine cabinet i think that's very important so the next thing I think you should have, which I run out of, but I think I will get some more is olive oil. This is very important to have because especially, as I said, if you have your children, it's good to have um, olive oil that you can, for instance, if they have a scrape that is getting better, this always helps to um, make it a little bit more smoother on the skin and help to get rid of the scabs if they have a cut. Now, the other things that I really do think is very important that you cannot leave out are multivitamins for children. Now, this one is calcium and iron, and this is from Halipa Orange. And I do believe that this is very, very important. Because as you know that children, their immune system needs to be built as they grow. They're running, they're playing, they're everywhere. So it's very important to help with building their immune system. And also because you're not sure of the amount of iron as well that you're providing in their meals. So it is important to have some sort of iron supplementation, um, if you will as well as calcium that helps with bone development. Now, this is also very important. This is a Volterol and this is a rubbing um, cream. And this is for pain, sprain, anything of the sort. I mean, if you're a child or you have a tummy ache, this is a heating cream. So you feel the heating sensation from this and helps with muscle spasm, um, you know, different type of muscle pain, leg, tummy, as I said before. So this is very important to have in your medicine cabinet as well. Now, moving on to other multivitamins that I think you should have. This one is the Immune Plus. So this is for children from three months all the way up to five years old. And this is Nature's Aid and these are mini drops. This helps with boosting the immune system as well. And this one consists of zinc and vitamin C, right? So we have one with iron and calcium and this one is zinc and vitamin C, all right? And as you know, zinc helps with boosting the immune system as well. Now, I think I will continue with the multivitamins. It's very important also if you have growing children to give some vitamin D drops. I don't know if some of you who have kids will remember that these are drops that they would give to your baby initially um, if they believe that the baby is lacking in vitamin D as they are very young. So as they're growing, it's important that you try to give some sort of vitamin D supplement. And this is vitamin D3. And this one is for children from birth up to four years old. So this one helps with the immune system, um, you know, certain bone development as well. So the vitamin D3 is very important. 
haul. And this is Well Baby from Pregnant Care. All right. Also, there is no medicine cabinet without pain and fever medication. Now, as you know, sometimes you take your baby to get immunization. They would say to you that you should try to have some pain and fever medicine around just in case the baby ends up with a fever after immunization. Or, as you know, kids are pain. They're putting their hands in their mouth. You never know when they might come down with a fever. So if it's a very slight fever, then you can always give them the right dosage from the recommendation from the bottle itself or from your pediatrician because you can always call your pediatrician you could tell them what the temperature of the baby is and they'll let you know advise you as to whether or not you need to take your baby to the hospital all right so what is a medicine cabinet without dph expectorant so this one is for adults and children and this one is for sneezing runny nose watery eyes chest congestion and coughing so if you have these things around these are simple um home remedies that your pediatrician i'm sure they will guide you on so you know the proper dosage and what would be the indication for giving them dph expectorant now also what is a medicine cabinet without some sort of iron but this is more iron for adults so this is ferroglobin plus and this one has a, it's a gentle iron on your stomach so it it doesn't make you feel irritated or nauseated because a lot of iron can do that you need to take with food because that's the recommendation that if you're taking iron supplement you need to take it with food because you may become nauseated right or even throw up so this one is gentle it's gentle iron gentle release and it has vitamin d it has ginseng and coq10 so this is a very good one if you are low in iron it's always is important to get your blood work done at least uh, two or three times a year depending on your age your physician can let you know what are the recommendations for doing your blood work but for certain types of illnesses it's recommended that you try to do it every quarter which is at least four months for the year right and as I said iron is very important especially for the female males <coughs> Should take iron to as well depending on what's happening with them now also this is extra strength of pain relief and this is the best choice acetaminophen pain and fever reliever and this is more as i said on the adult side if there's anything you know like a simple headache i make sure i follow the dosage for it and age so i know how much to give and i can also sometimes check with a colleague all right so also what is a medicine cabinet without having a good old sulfur ointment i don't know for those people on here who are from the caribbean but sulfur if you have a scrape that may you know look a little bit dingy or so on sulfur is always good if your child has touched something and they may end up with you know maybe like a ringworm or something like that you can always quickly if you see it initially as you could see it coming then you have something to help you to stop it before it gets any worse now this is ear calm there are times when you may feel as if there is something in your ear or something like that if you drop this there then you can always turn your head up or based on how you sleep to try to you know get anything that is in there rather than trying to stick something down your ears so try to find something that is uh, gentle and is recommended by the pharmacist that is not going to cause any problems because some are supposed to be prescribed ear medication and others are over the counter just for irritation or if you feel something in your ear that you think is not really significant that would you would need to rush to the hospital then perhaps this can help so this is something very good to have at home and there are others too that is made from like olive oil and things like that that you can buy as well no well be because of the allergies and so on most of my family suffer from allergy and my baby also is asthmatic so we have our area syrup here uh, recommended by the pediatrician and as i said if you have the symptoms of allergy um and you're told that this is what you need this is something that you can get over the counter 
oh my the good old gentian violet um paint no sometimes you get a little cut or your your child or you know your baby gets a little scrape you can always get a little um what we call a cotton swab and you can dip it there and you can just put it over it especially if it's not something that seems as if it's urgent because remember there are things that are urgent and need more urgent care but then there are other things that are minor scrapes that you can use this on so this is bnt antibiotic powder this is also good for those little things as well um and also as i said if they have like a minor scrape or a cut or if there is something under your toe because sometimes the toe may be cracked um you're not sure what why until maybe they make a complaint or you yourself have a cracked toe as i said there are certain things that requires in-depth um consultation as well as examination that you may need to see your physician but then if it's something simple like if you're not diabetic or anything like that so if you're not a known diabetic if you feel as if you're diabetic you need to see the physician but if it's just a simple crack crack between your toe or something the bnt on it is always or a bnt powder is always something good to have at home so you having a bnt powder at home you know can be very useful and i have quite a few of those now if you have smaller children as well you pedialux could be something that you should have at home because you're not sure when your child can become constipated my little girl when she was an infant i didn't know that she couldn't take milk and if she gets milk she would get constipated right myself i can't really take milk i don't get constipated but it does cause quite a bit of a disturbance in my stomach so so i'm on the other side so i don't need this but there are children who maybe you know have some sort of constipation issue based on what may be happening to them there's something and i will emphasize there's some things that you will need to see your primary care physician about but if they do recommend that you get pedia lux then you already have one at home and you don't need to run to the pharmacy to get one because you might not you may never know when they're out of these things all right so the next thing here well this you can get over the counter this is istatacin syrup you can get this over the counter and it's just for cough or cold minor cough or cold so you can have this this can be for both children based on the dosage you need to follow the recommended dosage and also for adults as well so when you have some of these things in your medic medicine cabinet already, you don't always need to constantly run to the pharmacy, especially because when it comes to pharmaceutics, the prices do fluctuate. So you're never you you can never be sure when you will go back and the price is higher. So that's always and then if you have things that have a longer shelf life that takes a longer time to expire, then perhaps by the time um you know you use it it won't even be close to the expiration date as yet because some of these things have a year some have two years max for expiration and you probably would have used them before that you are not sure who in your household will need caviscon you guys sometimes your kids will eat something that gives them a serious heartburn this is basically for you know anyone that is at home that may have heartburn and these most time too have can have maybe a year or two years shelf life you need to check so that you don't have it around and it expires on you now you need some sort of probiotic at home and i will get into this in another video but probiotic is very important to have at home especially for younger children adults can have probiotics as well but it's always good to have some sort of probiotic at home so that is something and this one is um enterogermina and there are others like cultural and those kind of things you can have at home biogea and so on now this is just a um cool and spray and this is for adults i guess if you have like a um a shear or a clipper or whatever then you need some sort of spray for that. this is nyquil's children cold and cough and as i said for the older kids 
Sometimes they may have a cold or cough that is persistent and this is something that you can speak to the pharmacist for over the counter and they'll give you the recommended doses that you can provide to them to help them rest better at night and help to um, suppress the cough that they may have and get rid of the cold. Not forget this one, right? So this is the Tall um, Collodion Salicylic Acid um, and this one I got this one just in case you are you, you know you're using like a broom or any rough thing because I sometimes do a little backyard farming which I need to catch up on but I've been so busy tired of tired and then it just it's so hot outside right now I know the plants need TLC but we get into that that's a longer video so i need to get back to that so sometimes you can end up with a callus or a corn in your hand if you're using if you went even if you're using a um glove sometimes that can happen so this can help to remove it you guys not want to leave out the triple antibiotic this one is a pain relief antibiotic and this is the same thing like for instance if your child falls down and get a scrape on the knee or something sometimes it can be painful i don't know sometimes we may um underestimate the pain that the child is feeling if they fall down and scrape the foot or something so i usually have this at home which can be very helpful as a little pain relief for some minor scrapes or those kind of things and this one you guys this is the econoderm solution this one is for microbial infection or if you have picked up any type of you know bacteria on the skin and as i said if it is that you will seem as if you're coming down with if you touch something because sometimes you're in public and your skin may brush against something and you're not sure and if you end up with like a windworm these things can help depending on where you are or what you may touch all right and especially for children because they they're always touching things you're you can never be sure where they get the, these things from or where they come down with them so it's always good to have something at home to be quick with right so you guys we have come to the end of another video thank you so much for joining me once more and i hope you guys remember to hit the subscription button if you have not yet subscribed to follow me and also remember to share so that other people can follow leave a comment below and a thumbs up you guys so you let me know that you are enjoying these videos and i can do more thank you once again and have a wonderful week bye you guys